Hello guys, welcome to Wick Free TV. It's Beauty and the Beast. It's the Bit Beauty, Wick Free Scott. And it's my beautiful beast, Alexandra Wick Free. Unbelievable. No, I really am the beast. And this really is the beauty. We've flown her in. Private jets come and join us today. Because yes, from my secret island. From her secret island where I keep her, store her, and just bring her out when she's going to be useful. Mainly to cook me oh. some great food <laughs> and to do the cleaning. Um, Saying that she doesn't do that either. Anyway, welcome to Week Free TV. I think oh. I do do the cleaning, don't I? You do. I think you're when the cleaner's not cleaned. Not. When the cleaner's not cleaned, you the do the cleaner. The other day, the other day, he she cleans for the cleaner. He actually did the washing up, and he said, "I saw the washing up for the first time." Like he actually saw some parts waiting. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Astounding. That's, I, you know, I heard that cleaning gets you in great shape, and I think I think my cleaning's been doing me really well. Anyway, guys. We've flown her in specially from Love Island. I'm not sure if you've been watching, but Tommy Fury tried to take her on a date. I stopped him uh, because she's so beautiful. And um, today, guys, what are we going to talk about, Alexandra? What are we going? This is going to be kind of conversational type video, which you you came up with this idea. And so I did. You, I don't know how it will work, but I just want to talk about the struggle bus. The struggle bus. What the is struggle. the struggle bus? Well, the struggle bus is our nickname, isn't it? For when everybody starts complaining and moaning in any business, but it happens a lot in direct sales and mainly in Sensi. Um, mainly they, in Sensi, mainly, mainly in all, all companies, and mainly in life. But it's, it, it's actually all over the newspapers and the news and everywhere, and it's the main topic of conversation for most people if they're not talking about the weather, they're talking about their struggle bus. And it's just this thing that everything is so hard and it's, so hard to make money and nobody's buying anything and nobody's doing anything and everything costs so much and we're in a crisis and uh, and everybody's on their struggle bus and it brings other people down can i just add and some... it is completely unhelpful in a business environment to focus on negative stuff and when they say there's no money around yeah this is always yeah. my opinion Okay, so over the last few years we had the pandemic, correct? Yeah, there was plenty of money then. Okay, so what happened in the pandemic was money was printed, yeah. so there was even more money on the market, correct? Yeah, loads. So basically, when people say there's no money, there's actually more money than there's ever been. Okay, that money just goes from the smart people to the not so smart people. So no, it, it goes the other way round. It sorry, went to the not so smart, smart people, people who and then, then gave went it back to, to the, the smart, smart people. people. Okay, and I don't mean that in a negative sense. Hey, this is but an open, open video. You say what you want. People end up, and this is what happens, and George Soros and other people will say that the money goes to the guys that are selling the stuff, to the guys that are running the banks, to the guys that are selling the news. Yeah. And that is exactly where it goes. The smart people talk the other people out of their money. And that is exactly what's happened, is everybody just went out and bought a whole host of fabulous stuff with their free money, like lots of Sensi, we sold a billion dollars worth of the stuff, but then they ended up in financial trouble. And that's where everybody is now. Yeah, and- Not smart. And when you look at your, when you talk about struggling, now we talk about personal struggles, okay? Now we're being open and honest. Personal struggles, we've had some personal struggles over the last few months, yeah? yeah. And 2023 has been what we would we would call. We have this a massive a struggle bus personally. <laughs> we have had one thing after another. Some people have said to us, I can't believe your bad luck, to which we're allergic to. We're allergic to. But as we see it, it's a stretch but, exercise, isn't it? Yeah. That's so what, what we keep saying. So what I'm trying to say is we, and it's personal, we don't share it, we're very... Um, enclosed people, not enclosed, that's the wrong word, very right, private but... people, and we don't want to give, we don't, you know, we're here to make people happy, not share our struggle bus with yeah. other people. And we're also not selfish. Yeah, we're also not selfish. Uh -huh. We're not going to put on to other people, because we always find that other people put their problems onto everybody else. It's not nice. It's not a good thing to do. You're supposed to brighten other people's day and not be a black cloud. But, as Alexandra said, is that we don't see it as a struggle. Yeah, we see it as an exercise in growth because if we're going to get to our vision, our goals, what we want to achieve personally, we have to grow as a human beings. And in business, in life, no matter what it is, 
You know, it's like, for example, Fancy. We could recruit and we could sell all day. And we could, we have that ability. Yeah? But it's not about how much you can, we can recruit and how much you can sell, which I call throwing punches. It's how much you can take those hits, get Ooh, up, yeah. and move forward. It's how many times you can be stretched. Yeah. I like in some days we're like the thinnest piece of chewing gum. The stretch is that pronounced. But if you talk about I'm struggling, then it's a negative. You feel down. You feel sad. You feel... Just try the words. It's a struggle. You're like, huh. You're feeding yourself a negative word. But if you word. tell yourself, this is a stretch exercise, you're up. Your language is more positive. You're acknowledging that things are not going the way you want them to, but it's a stretch exercise. You're fighting back. When you say, next time something happens and you go, oh my God, see it as a stretch exercise. You will fight against whatever is happening to you because you'll be like, no way, I'm going to beat this. And sometimes you have to keep on fighting. But like Robin Sharma says, you know, when change is coming and things are hard, it's horrible at the start. It's messy in the middle and it's beautiful, beautiful at the, the end. end. And we are living proof that continually... We've seen that cycle time and time again. Refusing to climb on the struggle bus with the rest of the universe and just wallow in a big fat bag of self-pity you know or press garbage about how rubbish life is and how hard the struggle is and how tough i am Ooh. and how bad life is for me and blah 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 there are so many people doing such amazing things and serving other people and leading beautiful and wonderful lives with plenty of money the people always have money the issue is when you have a time of recession and we've had numerous within sensi this must be the third or the fourth because we also have a global business we feel it in different markets so it could be the sixth or the seventh the fact is when you had it easy because times have been good and sales contract you have to work harder you have to talk to more people take more no's and get your ass off the couch more if you're willing to do those things you'll find the people with money like a sniffer dog oh they've got money and they, they want to buy my products or you'll bring people into your business because they need money and I'm going to show them the benefits of a second income business. And this business model is designed for the upturn and the downturn. But the big problem with this business model is there is a community. And a community is a great thing, for, you know, but a community is, drives the direction of a company. And a community can drive a positive direction and it can also drive a negative direction. So if you actually think you're struggling, you're not. If you want to stop struggling, you got to take yourself away and you got to focus on swimming in your own lane and you got to tell yourself the word, your own positive words and affirmations that it's not a struggle. It's down to me to not make it a struggle. It's down to me to become a champion because these are the times when real champions are born. Champions are not born in good times. No. Champions are born when it, your back's against the wall and it's hard. And it's a great struggle exercise I like to do because we struggle in everything. Yeah, it's like... Exer to go to the gym. Exercising. <laughs> yep. Exercising. I like to, and this is, we've got to train our brains when the going gets tough. Yeah. It's 45 degrees and I'm in the gym and I could do half an hour, but I'm pushing myself to do an hour and 15 minutes and it gets to a point where I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm sweating like crazy. I'm out of breath. It's nothing to do with my fitness. It's to do with the humidity and the heat. Yeah. And that's the time I really want to push forward the hardest because it's 45 degrees, okay? It's high humidity. It's the hottest it's going to be all year. So if I can push through now, when it comes to November or December and it's a lot cooler, it's going to be a breeze. Life, business is not supposed to be easy. No. If you want it easy, you're going to get nowhere. Yeah? If you're always moaning and groaning about your struggles, you're going to get nowhere. Or, or being dragged into other people's because... It's amazing how you can be in a room full of people and if somebody starts telling you about, you know, things are hard and things are tough, um, it's that reinforcing self-brain that we have and it's that desire to fit in which goes way back to being cave people when we all had to band together in order to not get eaten by lions or whatever else was on the savannah. 
And so we want to norm and we want to be like them and we think, oh yeah, you're right, actually it is really tough and difficult. Nobody likes the person who's standing there going, well, to be honest, I'm not having any problems and life is great and I'm doing really well. Everybody's like, well, they're a jackass, aren't they? But that's the person you want to be hanging out with. You actually want to be the big and the brave person who says, actually, I really want to hear what you've got to say. How are you doing it? What are you doing that's different? And I guarantee they're reading good stuff, they're eating good food, they're exercising, they meditate, they do all the things that they need to do to stay ready for stretch exercises when they come up in life and to refuse to get on that struggle bus when it pulls up outside the door, which it often does, and everybody's like, come join us in this misery fest. No, don't. That's just like, can I just give another Being example? Individual. And no offense to your mom, I love my mother-in-law to bits. And I've had it from If a few... my mother's watching this video, you're a dead man. I, and I have a few friends too, and they've all been texting me because on the British media, there's a heat wave in Europe. And I'm like, heat waves? But everybody's talking about it, you know? Like, everybody's talking about it. So people are texting me, and even Alexandra put it, Scott, there's a heat wave. I'm like, no, Alexandra, it's this temperature every single year. It's this hot, it's this humidity. It exactly, yeah. It's just the 11 months you forgot about it. <laughs> and the problem is that's how dangerous communities and media are like the thought pattern and it just spreads and alexander's mom's absolutely harmless and my friends are harmless but they are being fed that there's a giant heat wave in europe where it's just the same weather as it is every single year and there's always if you want to call it i believe a heat wave in england now as if it's over 13 degrees so there's a permanent heat wave <laughs> Uh, so yeah. what I'm trying to say is, guys, Hot be, for us is now be over there. careful what you're taking in between these two ears. Yeah? Yeah. Is it good stuff or is it bad stuff? Because people always say that I'm struggling. There's no money out there. There's more money on the market than there's ever been. Okay. And it's with the smart people. It's with the smart people. So and go. you're smart because you're watching this and you might have disagreed with some of the stuff we'd said and you might have wanted to throw your phone or tablet across the room and we might have said something that's a real slap in the face and if it has felt like in any way a slap in the face it's a good thing because i'm telling you now i've had some slaps in the face from some things my friends have said and it has been the thing that has made me stop being on the struggle bus and one of them was Tell a story. my friend Kelly. I, loved it. I love her. I love it when she did that. <laughs> my friend Kelly, I was uh, going through a divorce and um, bemoaning, this is my second husband, my perfect one. <laughs> but Definitely the better looking one. Oh my God. <laughs> Boy, see, and the more charismatic one. <laughs> so many people can even. And a small one. Shut up. So my friend Kelly, I'm bemoaning the latest thing going on and she just turns around. You're a bit of a drama queen when you're back in the day, really. You're really ruining this. And she turns around and she says, in all sincerity and honesty, you're never happy, are you, unless there's a drama going on in your life? And that was such a slap in the face from where I was at at that point. She just roundhoused me and it stopped me dead in my tracks. And I ruminated on that thought and I cursed on that thought and that stuck with me. And sometimes people say things like that and maybe in this video there's been something like that. And from that day and that set, a whole new set of thought patterns. And I thought, she's right. All I talk about is my dramas. I seem to almost get off on the dramas. It seems to be my most positive is when there's something going wrong. Don't focus on the bad things, focus on the good things. And there's only, I think, probably been two times in my life that people have said those sorts of things. And both times it's had a profound and dramatic effect on who I realized I wanted to be. So if this video has offended you or the Woke Brigade want to get on it or anything, no problem because if you've said something that makes you think and makes you want to look at how you deal with stuff and next time someone tells you that life is a struggle and it's all really hard think about it and think is it hard or is it a stretch exercise what do i want to be and let's be actually reality here alexandra if you're watching this and you've got wi-fi and you're in the comfort of your own home and you, you can you can make a cup of tea in the morning you know 
let's go back to it. The simple things in life, you're really not struggling. You're really over-exaggerating and your hours are really pointed in. Oh, I've had that one too, yeah. I think, pretty much. Your hours are pointed in. Yeah, so, it's like they always say. Take a reality I, check sometimes, guys. I cursed the man who wore, who had shoes until I met the man who had no feet. And it's absolutely true. We want what everybody else has got. We're miserable when everybody else has got more than us. Um, be careful who you hang around with. I think I'm going to end on be careful what you listen to. Be careful who you hang around with. Think for yourself. And next time someone drives a struggle bus near you, run! And become your own champion. But becoming your own champion, it's not going to, it's all down to you. It's ultimately all down to you. What you want to take in life, where you want to go in life, and who you ultimately want to be in life. I probably have to fly back to my island now because... I've called your helicopter. I've probably got to stay there for a while. Well, she's got to go and work on the cleaning up again and the cooking. But she'll be back next week, hopefully, to cook me a great meal and maybe join you in a video. <laughs> it's unbelievable! Have a great day, amigos. <laughs>